Dr. Jakobovitz, I want to play a little game here with you because we're on a radio show here. I think this will be a fun, a fun little game that we play. I want to mention a phrase about the chopper. And then in 15 seconds, roughly 15 seconds, I want you to um, explain that particular advantage. And uh, if, if you're taking too much time, I'm just going to cut you off when we go to the next phrase. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, we have to figure out what do you win if you if you make everything in 15 seconds. Uh, how about a... <laughs> nice, but I, I would prefer a piece of cake or a pie. Oh, okay. There's a great... A slice, a, a, a cake slice. Is it uh, all right? We'll, we'll mail that to you from Vietnam to Brazil. I'm sure it'll come in okay. a good shape, in a great shape. Get ready, get set. Okay. Go. Cutting, retracting, cracking. Why is that important? You have many functions in just one instrument, and you're not supposed to change instruments while you are, you are operating on. Um, advantages compared to conventional choppers? It cuts uh, with, uh, it's sharper, so it cuts better. Is It is multifunctional, and you can do horizontal chopping and also vertical chopping. Precise cutting, how does it do that? It's done because the instrument has half that thickness of traditional choppers, so it cuts better. You've had chocolate simulating hard cataract. Why? It's really a hard substance to cut if you try, and yeah. it's a nice model that uh, is striking the difference between the cutting of the, my instrument and the old ones. You can make straight lines with this chopper. Explain. Straight lines means that the instrument is really precise uh, when compared to that uh, ragged edges uh, you know, with uh, wider instruments. You can make both horizontal and vertical lines. Perfect. Although uh, the instrument was intended to horizontal cutting, I discovered that it could also be done the vertical uh, chopping and the surgeon chose whatever he wishes. Don't get distracted by my thumbs up. Uh, endothelial cell damage happens sometimes with conventional choppers. Why? It's mostly when we, we, we got a shallow anterior chamber and the instrument has to go over the, the nucleus uh, before it returns to cut it. So you raise a little bit uh, the instrument tip and you can touch the endothelium. And my instrument, we go just with a straightforward movement toward the nucleus without lift, lifting it. I let you go there, but I, I should have said, eh, that was more than 15 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, grade four cataracts, your instrument can handle that. Why? Because as you can cut it easily, uh, you can handle it easily. Okay. And you've also used bimanual uh, with two choppers, right? That works. Really? It's uh, definitely perfectly. You have to get used to it. It's a small learning curve, but it's not a big deal. And then you have a, a, a large cracking area that breaks big chunks. Is that right? Yes. Although the instrument is really thin, in its frontal aspect, its lateral aspect is wider than a conventional chopper. So it's easier to separate two fragments when you use both instruments. Hard cataracts, up. but also soft cataracts. How does it handle both? Yes. Uh, for the harder cataracts, I guess that the cutting action is uh, the, more, the most important. But for the softer ones, you have to have a lateral area in order to divide that soft cataract. And again, talking about Africa, why is this instrument important not only in Brazil, but also Africa and other developing areas of the world? I'd say that uh, it's for, if we are talking about FACO machines, uh, it, it, it spends less energy, so it's safer. But we can also use it for extracapsular cataract surgery. So we can use even in areas that we don't have FACO at all. Um, and I'm going to let you go here for this last, this, uh, last one. I'm going to give you 30 seconds. 
Um, overall, what do you think are the main advantages of this Jakobovic chopper, whether for the developing world or the developed world? It is multifunctional. So we have many functions. We can cut, we can um, crack the nucleus laterally, and also to retract structures like the uh, inlet of the capsular bag. Secondly, we can use uh, these instruments as by manual and also one hand technique. We can use it as horizontal technique and also vertical technique. Uh, and you can create surgeries. I, I myself created four kinds of surgeries according to uh, the nucleus hardness. So it covers a wide uh, range of nucleus hardness and also techniques. Fantastic. Well, uh, ding, 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 ding. Uh, you answered it. Have I won? Have I won the? You, you've won the golden statue. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> you've answered enough questions with enough speed to to warrant those two two fingers up like that. So, Dr. Jakobovitz, as you know, we are covering the WOC live, and as part of that coverage. Uh, we're doing quite a bit of coverage on Africa, where it was originally intended to be hosted physically. Uh, what is the utility of this instrument there? Yes, it's a, a totally new concept of instrument, and it has many different uh, features when we compare to a regular chopper. The instrument is a kind of versatile instrument in many aspects. Firstly, as I told you before, it is multifunctional and it has many functions. And we can use all these functions in order to be even creating uh, ways of operating on. So uh, I myself have developed uh, at least four techniques by using this chopper. So uh, by the way, we can use uh, two instruments together in a we may call it a press slice stage or pre-chopping stage uh, before for FACO. So we cut the nucleus in two harvests or at least two harvests, but we can also cut it into four or more uh, mm -hmm. segment pieces. But after we, we do this uh, pre-chop stage, we can use just one uh, arm of the instrument along with the FACO machine. It, it's the, the basic technique, but also uh, I've, I have de developed a technique in which I use instruments without the FACO machines for extra cap capsular uh, cataract surgery. The that, that one that we perform without a FACO machine in which before uh, taking the nucleus outside of the anterior chamber, I divide the nucleus, I split it into two segments, and then with a special designed snelling loop, I can take both fragments in sequence. I take one, and, and the main advantage is that the surgery uh, seems like a phaco surgery without phaco. That's fascinating. So. I imagine that FACO machines, despite their widespread use around the world, in certain remote parts of Africa, perhaps even Brazil, uh, it is not available. And so a chopper like this, with its innovative characteristics, could help very much. 